Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm Jeremy Franklin. This week we'll speak with wrestling coach Nathan Shearer, junior men's basketball captain Patrick O'Connor, and senior women's swimming captain Lauren Kasoff. But first, a quick look back at the weekend in Washington and Lee Athletics. Women's basketball snapped a seven-game skid with a 69-66 win over Bridgewater at the Warner Center, while the men's team fell 85-54 at 16th rank Virginia Wesleyan. In track and field, first-year Dana Lee broke the school record in the long jump, while the men's team took the top three spots in the 800 meters at the Marietta Open. Back in Lexington, the men's and women's swimming teams both scored dual meet wins over VMI and Ferrum, and the wrestling team dropped three matches in New York, falling to Centennial Conference foes Johns Hopkins and NYU and to host Hunter College. With me now is wrestling coach Nathan Shearer. Nathan, welcome to the show. Thanks, Jeremy. What kind of progress have you seen from your team this season? Well, from the beginning to now, uh, there's been quite a bit of progress. As you know, we're a very uh, young and shallow team right now. Um, so it's been exciting to see these guys grow from the first day of practice back in October uh, till now, you know, approaching here February. So. Your senior captain, Dan Eigel, is the only upperclassman on the roster. How do you maintain the confidence of your young athletes when some of the team results might seem discouraging? Well, from the beginning, we knew we were going to be young and without some weight classes. And then, of course, some injuries set in. Uh, so from the beginning, we haven't put a lot of pressure or really any pressure on any of the guys, you know, knowing that they're young and things like that. So uh, just getting them to focus on every day, um, becoming better, and then over the long term, uh, that leads to, to a, a bigger development from each guy. Grant Coakley told us on the show last week that the conference tournament format is better for the Washington League roster maybe than the dual meets that comprise most of your regular season schedule. What kind of expectations do you have for the Centennial Championships? You know, if we continue the progress, you know, there, I think each guy expects a lot from himself, and uh, we are a better tournament team, you know, having to get up some weight classes. So, um, you know, uh, we've had a lot of tournament places throughout the year, so we're definitely a better tournament team. Your sophomore starters are combined 32 and 27. Your first-year starters are 30 and 22. With that foundation in place, how close are the generals to achieving team success? Well, we try not to get too far ahead of ourselves, but it is exciting, um, you know, the... the to see the sophomores from last year, to some of them have doubled their win percentages uh, from a year ago, and the freshmen are having a, a lot of success. So uh, it's not easy transitioning to college and also not easy being a freshman or a first year, um, but they're doing really well. Nathan, thanks for joining us here. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks, Jeremy. With me now is Patrick O'Connor, junior basketball captain from Richmond. Patrick, welcome to the show. Appreciate it. The Generals hit the road tonight for a rematch with Roanoke down in Salem. Against the Maroons at the Warner Center back in November, you set a career high with 17 points, including a 40-foot buzzer beater to win the game in overtime. Does that performance stand as one of the highlights of your career here? Yeah, obviously that, that play was you know an outstanding moment in my basketball career, just not, not even at school, but just in my basketball career in general. But you know, one of the best parts about it was looking back at the film and seeing how excited all my teammates were for that moment. Uh, even uh, our, our coach JD got out on, on, the, on the court for a little bit, um, but and also like after the game, I, I received a lot of text messages and calls from former basketball players, you know, friends at the school. So that that was really meaningful, and most importantly, we uh, got a win. So it was certainly a, a memorable evening. Your brother played football at William and Mary. Your father is the longtime University of Richmond beat reporter for the Times Dispatch Sports Section. How did those athletic connections inspire you to play college basketball? Yeah, so uh, my, my dad also played baseball at University of Richmond, and I also have four other, other brothers. So we have a family of uh, six boys, we're all playing sports. Uh, like you said, my oldest brother uh, played football at William Mary. My other older brother wrestled at the Apprentice School in Virginia, in Newport News, uh, Virginia. And uh, needless to say, sports have been a, a very big impact in my life. Uh, ever since growing up, we've all been very competitive. I'm extra competitive with my oldest brother, Jake. Um, so, yes, yeah, sports have been a very big impact in our lives, and uh, that's, you know, that's made a big impact in where I am today, I would say. During a recent homestand, Washington and Lee had the lead in the second half against Randolph, Lynchburg, and Easter Midnight, but you ended up dropping all three of those games. What do the generals need to do to close out contests like that and get victories? Yeah, all, all three of those games were very similar in that uh, we would make a run in the second half, and, you know, and they would make a run back. Basketball is a game of runs, and um, all three of those games were uh, two possessions or less at the end. So um, go moving forward, what we really want to focus on is treating each possession like that's the possession that's going to change the game and 
because ultimately all three of those games were two possession games. So if we eliminate the, the three, four, you know, play gaps that we've had in the last three games, I, I think we'll be in, in good shape moving forward. Washington and Lee is two and six in the conference, but you still have half of the ODAC schedule in front of you. What are the keys for the Generals to have success over the last month of the season? I think applying that mentality where each possession could be the possession that changes the game. Um, we, we play at Roanoke tonight, and then uh, we are able to have another three-game home stretch. So um, it's very, very important for us to apply the lessons that we've learned, you know, th those three games to these next three games, and hopefully we'll be able to come out with, with three wins. Patrick, thanks for joining us here. Best of luck the rest of the year. Thank you for having me. I also want to give a shout out to Virginia Terry. Happy birthday, Virginia. With me now is Lauren Kasoff, senior swimming captain from Owings Mills, Maryland. Lauren, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You've earned first team all ODAC honors each of your previous three seasons here. What kind of personal goals did you set coming into your senior year? Um, earning first team all ODAC honors was a very big honor in itself, so to repeat it again this year would be great. I also set goals for each year because each season brings about different challenges and so it's always just to be the best I can be. And this year, um, one of my main goals was to unify the team and also to be a role model for my teammates in and out of the water. Washington Lee Swimming has undergone significant changes during your time here. The women earned their first ever national ranking a couple of years ago. You've had the move to a combined men's and women's program. How exciting has it been to take part in that transition? It's very exciting and also to understand like how we've come here. I can attribute most of our success to the combining of those programs as well as to just the captains and what we implemented this year. The freshmen that we brought in and also just to Coach Gardner has done an amazing job. You were recently inducted into the Omicron Delta Kappa National Leadership Honor Society. What does that recognition mean to you? It means a lot to me. I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't expect it at all. And it's a huge honor, especially on the 100th anniversary, as well as to have just my teammates and my coach come to the induction. Washington and Lee will be a heavy favorite next weekend uh, to win its 24th ODAC championship. What are the team's expectations for the conference meet? Surprisingly, though, we're not as big as a expect it to win in the relays but going into it our goal is to obviously win the meet still to be very competitive on the relays and because we're not seated first for those to also have fun and like one of our team goals this year was just to make sure we out team every other team so essentially the normal stuff of having fun swimming fast lauren thanks for joining us here good luck at the odac championship thank you for having me it's time now for a look at the upcoming weekend the men's and women's track and field teams head to Lewisburg, Pennsylvania for Bucknell's Bison Open, while men's tennis will open up its spring schedule at home against Methodist. Men's basketball takes on Bridgewater at the Warner Center, and the women's team hits the road to face Hollins. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.